three hot Hollywood stars of the show tonight, all with their own fans. Where's the Matt LeBlanc fans? <laughs> I said, uh, let's start the show! <laughs> in for a treat tonight. We've got three of Hollywood's hottest leading men on one show, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Star of High School Musical, Zac Efron is here! <laughs> <laughs> From Knocked Up and 40-Year-Old Virgin, Seth Rogen is on the show! <laughs> yeah! Star of the hit sitcoms Friends and Episodes, Matt LeBlanc is here! <laughs> Plus, we got music from Kaiser Chiefs! Yes, we do! Oh, it's good, is it? Good night, good night, good night. Ladies and gentlemen, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> hey, three top stars, Zach, Matt and Seth. And, of course, the problem is, uh, I wonder which one will sit next to me. Who will sit next to me? It's difficult to know, isn't it? Uh, here's a recent picture of Zach. <laughs> he will be sitting next to me. He's fit, isn't he? Yeah. He is. Like, how do you get a body like that? Do you know, I was wondering, maybe he does uh, horse yoga. Have you seen this? Have you seen your horse yoga? No? <laughs> oh, you've been missing out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, there's a man in Argentina who does yoga with horses. Yeah? Uh... <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, here's another picture. <laughs> Yeah, I think that picture was taken just before the police were called. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so relaxed, doesn't it? I tell you, when was the last time I saw a horse looking so chilled? <laughs> uh, I didn't see, you didn't see it coming, did you? Didn't see it coming. Uh, I'm going to be talking to uh, Zeth, Seth about his obsession with Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Now, this is Kim and Kanye, or... Kim Ye's Bound 2 video, right? And I'm sure you've seen this. Uh, Seth and James Franco have recreated it scene for scene. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I'm sure I've seen another shot of Seth where he reminds me of Kim Kardashian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in so many great films, including that awkward moment where he takes a Viagra and then has to go to the toilet. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Who's he on the phone to? <laughs> Hi, Mom! <laughs> Nothing really, just hanging out. <laughs> uh, mind you, of course, this is what would really happen if you took a Viagra and went to the toilet. <laughs> hey, that's all coming up later, plus some more of your stories in the big chair. So let's get some guests on! You're just like objects. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> no, because this, this is the thing. It's it's three leading men on a couch. So are you all getting on okay? Everything all good? You're hanging out. You're good. I'm Who's having... hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> Great. It's like an ugly sandwich. <laughs> 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 oh, I 
wanted sympathy early on. That was my thing. <laughs> yeah, sympathy lost. Mm -hmm. Lovely. <laughs> now, Zach, I mean, the reaction of people to you, like, they don't even try to be cool when they see you. They just see you and scream. It's sort of, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Women make a noise that I've never heard in my life when they see Zach. <laughs> like, you could give me three hours with a woman and I couldn't get her to make the noise that... <laughs> They make after just seeing Zach for two <laughs> seconds. Yeah. See? That's, yeah. There's that noise. No, I've no, never. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this oh. grandmother just made that noise. I saw it, I saw it pop out of her mouth. <laughs> there is no demographic that is not seduced by that. <laughs> because you've talked about uh, France was very bad for you, Matt. Was it France where you had the... Yeah, back in the day, this was uh, going back 100 years or so. Um, <laughs> Napoleon was there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got off the plane and went to go outside to the car, and there was this little French guy there, and he, oh, Matt LeBlanc, I love you. And he had this, he had this picture, of a Polaroid. Does anyone remember what those are? <laughs> it was a Polaroid of him and Courtney Cox. And it had been like, looked like it had been handled a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And he was like, I need a, a photo of you, I need... And I said, OK, just... Uh, and I got in the car, and we went straight to the hotel. When I got out of the car, there he was. Just waiting. Yeah. <laughs> he had the evil twin with the same photo. <laughs> but then he, like... He grabs me as I'm getting out of the car in the, in the weirdest way... Here, I'll show you. Stand Do up. it. He goes, <laughs> so he goes like this. He puts his arms around me like this and his leg... Whoa! <laughs> I feel it's hot. <laughs> the leg hug is weird. Yeah. You don't see that very yeah, often. It's a French thing. Yeah. That's yeah. the French thing. So I kind of peeled him off me. That made me in. <laughs> went inside real quick. That was uncomfortable all the way from over here. Because, yeah. <laughs> Zach, you're your co-star. You must know this. Uh, you're, uh, Miles Teller from That Awkward Moment. Absolutely, yeah. He tells a story about how... Yeah, there's the awkward moment. There's the noise is again. Is that how you're not supposed to pee like that? Because I've been peeing like that. <laughs> your cleaner, yeah, your cleaner would urge it's, you it's, to clean exactly. like that. Exactly. You don't have to yeah. wash your hands. Right? <laughs> that was one of the most awkward filming experiences in my life. In fairness, I believe you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was very... Uh, yeah. My mom was on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but no, so Mars was saying the story about the, the, literally women try to break into your house, like, quite regularly. Uh, that has happened, yeah. Yeah, that has happened. And do you I, go out? Do you kind of go, excuse me, what are you trying to do? Or do you have people who... Well, I lived in this sort of uh, case study house. It was, it was uh, designed with sort of all windows, like sliding door windows, and literally all the way around the house. So in the middle of the night, uh, there would be taps on the glass <laughs> at like 2 or 3 in the morning, and I'd wake up, and, and this is kind of weird. After it happened a few times, I started keeping a samurai sword by my bed. Just... <laughs> Because I did, like, whatever. In case a ninja in ca yeah, came in case, in, uh, <laughs> in case somebody dangerous. Not that I know how to use a samurai sword at all. It's totally rash. uh, Very yeah. rational. Fans yeah. sliced in half Zen. by Zac yeah. Efron. That's a lot better than getting curtains. I had... I had... I had... Yeah, too sure. I do. I did have curtains installed, okay. but <laughs> they just, just it doesn't it didn't yeah. work. Yeah. Um, they would still come up. And, and talking of people being fans, uh, I was talking in the monologue. Seth, are you a fan of Kim and Kanye, or do you hate them? No, I love. Uh, I mean, Con Kim Kardashian uh, has, you know, her. I'm. She's a nice person. <laughs> I, she, but, um, <laughs> But uh, I can't. There's, I not like, there's not like a canon of work I can refer to necessarily. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but Kanye, I'm a huge fan of uh, his music, and uh, yeah, he and I've, I've, I used to. We used to have the same uh, personal trainer, so we would we would work out next to each other actually. <laughs> yeah, which was bizarre. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's a big fan of comedy, and he likes uh, our stuff. So uh, I tried to return the favor by uh, liking his stuff. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the original Bound 2. This is the two of them. Close your eyes and let the word paint a thousand pictures. One good girl is worth a thousand bitches. Bam! It's, 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 it's... Wait till you see my version. 
We're about to. Uh, this, this is you and James Franco yeah. recreating that shot for shot. Shot for really shot. Really good. Yeah. Close your eyes and let the word paint a thousand pictures. One good girl is worth a thousand bitches. Bam. Someone had to. <laughs> have, they been, have they been in touch since? I actually, I read into him, and one of the things that disturbed me is that we spent more time making our video than he spent making his video. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it took us like three days to get it right. He's like, man, we did it in like four hours. I was like, oh, <laughs> that makes sense. But um, yeah, he uh, he's a fan of it. He thinks it's funny. And uh, yeah, I've run into him a couple times, actually, since we released it. So It's weird God. he couldn't I've... figure out that his version of it was quite funny. <laughs> he, th he thinks it's funny. He he acknowledges it's a weird video, uh, stylistically. <laughs> I don't think he thinks it's like thriller or anything like that. But, uh, I think the, he gets it. Yeah, after the four hours. He exactly. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, Matt LeBlanc, episodes. Episode is back for our third series. But already, there's a fourth in the pipeline already. Yeah, we start uh, production in August back here in the UK. What a nice place to be in, to know that it's coming back already. Yeah, yeah. not bad. Yeah, it's good. This series starts in BBC Two in May. Mm. And now, for anyone who hasn't seen it, so it's a fictional version of you starring in a fictional sitcom. Right, it's a, <laughs> it's a show about making a show, and it's based on a... Show. On a fictitious, <laughs> on a fictitious <laughs> hit show in the UK that, and, that gets moved to America, and they, the writers, a husband and wife, English couple, get promised the world, and uh, when they get to LA, all the promises are broken, including the one where they can keep their lead actor, and they have to hire, they're forced to hire me, and I'm this like just monster to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> and initially. But I think it's the writers, you knew the writers, David Crane people, so were you nervous of the version of Matt LeBlanc they were going to portray? Yeah, well, in the beginning, I was just kind of like, well, what do you mean I'm playing myself? I don't... I guess that's better than playing with myself, but... And they said, well, you know, it's, it's, we're not making a documentary. We'll, it's a scripted character, and if you're uncomfortable with anything, we'll, uh, we won't use it. So that was... That was fine, and it's it's been really really good. But now now it's kind of come full circle, and I'm pitching ideas to them, and they're going, "Oh, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want you to do that. Never do that." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I did do that. No, you didn't, and don't tell anyone you did. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. Go to church. <laughs> Well, we're going to watch a bit. This is from uh, later on in the series, and it's you basically. It's basically it's you having a rant at the the two writers. Okay. Okay. I am so sick of these British coming over here and stealing our parts. How is that even legal? Huh? It should be like, okay, you act in your country and we'll act in ours. But no, they sneak in here with their perfect American accents, like some magic trick. You know, and no one even knows till it's too late. Then suddenly, you see him on a talk show, and it's like, holy shit, that guy's English? They're on our TV shows. They're in our movies. They, they, there should be congressional hearings or something. Fucking British people. Stay the fuck home. No offense. <laughs> Look, we don't understand it. Yeah, I mean... Like, British people don't get it either. It's true, though. I mean... Are we cheaper? No. <laughs> We've got to fly you to America. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It'd be great if it worked both ways, but Americans can't get parts over here. But the English people come over there and they get parts left and right. It's great. It's wrong. It's yeah. wrong. Yeah. And, and they've and been acting longer. It's over true. Downton Abbey has a few Americans. That's as close as we've gotten. Oh, Shirley MacLaine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Shirley MacLaine, that's it. Yeah. We'll get you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the new James Bond, in case people don't know. <laughs> but, in, but in reality, you quite like it here. You spend quite a lot of time here filming episodes. So yeah, I do. I love it You've got it here. to like it's it It's a lot now. of fun here, yeah. But I've heard you in American interviews <laughs> talking about life here. It's different. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, it's... laughs> like, you think we're quite drinky. I met Seth. It's quite <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny. Like you go to um, in in America, if you go to like a bar at lunchtime, it's empty. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> People are like drinking at lunch and then go back running the crane. <laughs> wow! Okay, careful. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, it, it's fine, I guess. You make it sound like a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, is it, and you find us quite sweary as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but everyone reacted to that. Everyone's like, yeah. But it sounds so much. It, it sounds sound... better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, right? It's it's like it's worth two swears of, of ours. Yeah. yeah. It's just. <laughs> it doesn't seem as offensive. It doesn't. With yeah, your yeah, accent. It's pronounced and really yeah. accurate. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it takes on a whole different meaning. <laughs> you know? It could mean a, it's several different things. It's the queen swearing. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's you can beautiful. get away with it. And you're just kind of like, oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It actually made the sentence better. <laughs> but here's the weird thing, because Matt LeBlanc in, uh, in the show, as we were saying in episodes, yeah. bit of a dick, but Thank in you. life... <laughs> no, in life, lovely Bit man. of a... Oh, OK. No. <laughs> Except I, I was Googling one of my favourite sitcoms, Will and Grace, and I did see a familiar face in the back of the photograph. <laughs> <laughs> I love celebrity photobombing. Yeah, the red carpet, that was a good one. <laughs> but now, I don't know if you've seen, because photobombing's been around for a long time, but now the big thing is animal photobombing. So, uh, here, someone's taking a picture of a nice black dog and somebody photobombs it. <laughs> <laughs> that is dope. That was pretty dope. Yeah. Right. Now, <laughs> this cow is laughing. See if you can see why the cow is laughing. So there's the cow photobombing. <laughs> <laughs> what was the horse thinking? Yeah, how did that happen? How did that happen? Did they build the fence around the horse? <laughs> <laughs> is, is the horse thinking, I used the to be able to get through moving. this? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I should lay off the oats. <laughs> And finally, this is uh, some ladies on safari trying to find an animal. <laughs> Hello. Hey, uh, uh, Bad Neighbours, Zach and Seth's new movie. It opens uh, next Saturday, the 3rd of May. And uh, now, Seth, you play uh, a new dad. Yes. All happy, loved up, new house. New house, uh, kind of struggling with the fact that we can't, uh, like, drink and party all the time like we did before we had kids, um, as I think many people do. <laughs> and, uh, and then a bunch of college kids move in uh, next door and all they do is party. And at first we kind of think maybe it'll be fun and we can hang out with them and then it slowly becomes clear that, like, it's not going to work and we go to, like, full-on war with each other, basically. Because, Zach, you play the president of the... Fraternity. Yes. Now, yeah. it's weird. Everything else is coming. Like, we have proms now. All these other American things have come over. We don't have fraternities. So, just for that, what is? Um, it's, it's a tradition. It goes back years and years and years. But it, during college, there's these groups of guys that get together and make fraternities. Um, and, they, it, and they get drunk all day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> pretty but, much uh, it. <laughs> no, they do more. They do more. They, it's they, about brotherhood. It's about it's brotherhood, about brotherhood and bonding. It's a fraternal uh, yeah. environment. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, they do sort of like this system where they take the younger guys and kind of break them down to build them back up. Um, so I've seen it, the videos. It, yeah, <laughs> it, can, it can be rough. Um, I was never in a fraternity, but a lot of my good friends were, so I kind of knew what this guy was like. Yeah. And, it's not uh, that different from, like, like where I'm from, we didn't, I'm from Canada, we don't have fraternities there, but we do have, like, rugby teams and stuff, which is essentially the same thing. You, <laughs> you just get drunk all the time and beat up the smallest guy. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's relatable in every country, I guess. And, uh, Zach, you, I should say, you weren't in a fraternity, but in, yeah. but in high school, it sounds like you played kind of fraternity-esque sorts of games. Sort of, and after high school, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I... I um, it made sure everything you know was legit on set. Yeah, you, know, like, <laughs> were you, you were very good at uh, it's called sack tap. How did you know? Do you do you want to know what this game? Is? What is sack tap, Zach? <laughs> see, Seth wants to know. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's right. Did you see this? Oh yeah, and then if you get <laughs> yeah, you get the person to look below your waist, and then you can smack oh that's you what smack it is. their sack. That's it. Oh. <laughs> and I wasn't good at it. I don't know what you mean by that. I, I avoided it at all costs. You're all state champions. Yeah, that's that's, that's what I hear. <laughs> that's what the forums tell me. Uh, yeah, you were like, yeah, super good at it. The trick was to just play it off like it didn't hurt, and then eventually people would stop doing it. Because if you went 
and complained, people would just do it more to you. That, but they don't do that in college anymore. God, I hope not. Um, <laughs> you don't care. I, yeah, I really don't. <laughs> uh, I just do am memori uh, remembering how much it hurt. And, uh, did you play, what's it called, a sack tap? Uh, just back there we were playing. Yeah, we were playing. <laughs> Oh, you got me good. You got me good. What else are we supposed to do? It's more of a rub than a tap. I just wonder. <laughs> I call it crotch rub. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it wrong, I think. <laughs> I'm too gentle. It makes yeah. it weird. Yeah. <laughs> different, different, different game. Different game. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, you got me. Oh, I got it. Oh, you got me. Give me again. Give me again. <laughs> You suck at this game. <laughs> well, you're winning again. <laughs> anyway. Uh, there's good qualities in fraternities, too. Yes. So it's, Let's yeah. leave it at that. Yeah, believe it. <laughs> well, no, I'm sure there, and there, actually, there are some sweet moments between the guys in the film. But this is a clip of uh, Seth's character and your wife, played by Rose Byrne. And this is you going to meet the fraternity on the first day. Exactly, yeah. We're trying to go over and say hi to them. Yeah. I'm Teddy. Hi. This is me. Hi. Hi. Stella, That's yeah. So Best cute. name ever. Are you Aww, kidding? She's, she's a little flirt. Oh, like her mom, I bet. Mm. Cool. <laughs> anyway, if you could maybe just uh, sometime. Keep it down. All right. Well, man, if you guys ever need anything or we get too noisy, just talk to me or talk to Pete. We'll take care of it. Same with us. I mean, we get pretty loud over there. Yeah, yeah. We're Game busy. of Thrones, we get loud. When Khaleesi comes out, like, oh, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> All righty. Well. Dope. <laughs> that baby. Two babies. It's twins, right? Must Twin, be, yeah. two babies. Yeah. 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 So cute. Very cute. Yeah. Stars of the movie. Steal the whole movie. Yeah. Every time the baby was happy, we're like, oh, man, this makes us look like such better parents than uh, <laughs> we would have otherwise. Meanwhile, yeah. we're next door, feet away, doing horrible, horrible things. Oh, yeah. But did you have to be careful? I mean, were the parents the miles was, away? The dad was on set. And he was cool. Only a few times we did stuff where the dad was like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> She's going to see this one day, and I'm going to have to answer for what happens in it. But, like, there's a scene where the baby finds a condom on the ground and puts it in her mouth. Uh, <laughs> and it's not used, ultimately, uh, is what we learn. But in filming it, we had to make, like, a condom made out of, like, sugar paper, basically, because you can't give a real baby a condom to shove in her mouth. But <laughs> you really? can't. No, you can't, is what we learned. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. We know. That's <laughs> you can once. No, uh, but, uh, but we didn't know if the baby would do it. If, uh... <laughs> But the, the baby was so good. It was like the Daniel Day-Lewis of babies when it comes to shoving condoms in their mouth. <laughs> and literally, the second we put the condom in front of the baby, she, like, picked it up, looked at at it and shoved it in her mouth. And we're like, great, good baby, good acting. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the dad was a little horrified, I think. And in some of the scenes... It's not a good instinct for a girl to have. No. <laughs> <laughs> she just shoves condoms in her mouth. It's yeah. crazy. At least she, she has them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, better than the alternative. <laughs> I just kept thinking, when she speaks... <laughs> At yeah. our wedding, they will be showing clips of this movie. They will show that <laughs> clip, probably. Yeah. Remember this? Uh, yeah, they, they were kind of oblivious as to, I think, what was going on. I hope. There was every once in a while, we're like, at least she can take the money she's earning on this, and if they invest it well, can pay for the therapy she'll need one day. <laughs> so it kind of is a self-healing <laughs> problem, ultimately. <laughs> now, I don't want to turn, I don't want to turn the audience against Seth, but you, in the past, have been a bad neighbor, haven't you? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, really bad neighbor. No, really you do bad. sound terrible. Yeah, I uh, used to live uh, with this guy, Martin Starr, who's an actor as well. Um, and we uh, had an apartment, and, and our neighbor hated us, and <laughs> we hated him um, a lot. And he would call security on us all the time because we lived in an apartment. And he had, he had one of those mail slots. I don't know if you have those here that goes, like, right in your house. Like, it's in the door. Like, there's a, a little slot in the door. Yeah, a letterbox. <laughs> But sometimes it's separate, but his went right in. And so what we'd do is we'd go to, we'd go to McDonald's and buy, like, 20 cheeseburgers, and then we'd, we'd put them in his mail slot in the middle of the night uh, just for no good reason, uh, just knowing that he'd come to downstairs the next day and find a pile of 
cheeseburgers uh, on his uh, inside his house. That's very kind of you. Exactly. For me, I would be psyched. If I woke up, I was like, I'm thinking, yeah. I would come downstairs and go, 20 cheeseburgers, oh my God. yeah. It's Christmas. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. mid-Christmas. Yeah, it's mid-Christmas. <laughs> he didn't feel the same way, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, yeah, we ended on bad terms, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. I apologize, Futterman, if you're watching this. <laughs> that was his name. <laughs> Here's the the thing about Seth Rogen is because you seem such a relaxed kind of cool guy. Yes. Very relaxed. I am pretty relaxed. Yeah, very relaxed. <laughs> and yet you have this work ethic. I mean, if anyone younger is watching, this will make you feel like an underachiever. Because how old were you when you ever wrote the first draft of Superbad? We were like 14 when we finished uh, the first draft. Really? I think 14 or 15. Losers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't get made till 10 years after that, but uh, we, yeah, we wrote it in high school instead of. That's uh, incredible. I'm sure everyone who didn't write a script probably hooked up with more girls than I did. Uh, so uh, <laughs> it, it all equals out in the end. But you were doing stand up at that age, weren't you? Yeah, I started stand up when I was 13. Uh, and but what I did, did you it. talk about? I talked about 13 year old stuff. I talked about like trying to touch boobs and stuff like that. <laughs> like, uh, when I, stuff. When I first started doing it, I, I talked, I told kind of normal jokes, and then another comedian came up to me and was like, "You're the only 13-year-old doing stand-up. Like, you can talk about stuff none of uh, no one else can talk about." And ever, I think that was like the first moment where I was like, "Oh, we should write about what we're going through." So like, all my friends are having kids and not being able to party anymore. So that's like what Neighbors is about. Like, we really look for what we're experiencing, you know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I was going to ask. Another, another sure compliment. Yeah. I Great. think uh, <laughs> what I've always appreciated about his sort of sensibility in his comedy is that it all comes from a, such an honest place. And um, I don't know, I've related to every single character that you've played. You know what I mean? I just, Me too. I get it. I get you too. <laughs> and and it, it was really fun. It was really fun to, uh, I don't know, to sort of... I, I became kind of my character. I went a little method. <laughs> really? You went crazy yeah. during it? I did. Because yeah. you do, in the movie, it's very intense Thank what you. goes on it's in an that intense house. performance. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Now, in terms of acting techniques, uh, I, Matt, I don't know, you, you must remember the, the, those famous uh, episodes of Friends where Joey would explain his acting techniques. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The Joey acting classes and stuff. Smell the fart acting. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We love, because was that Joey or was that you? No, that was all. That was the writing staff. We had some great writers, but that was that was really funny. And then there was uh, so talk us through sm smell the fart. Well, the smell the fart acting was um, <laughs> when, when he was on Days of Our Lives. I can help you out with this. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, when you when you forget your line, you kind of go. And then you continue and you remember. Continue. That's, and that's it totally. I was captivated. It, yeah, it, I got looks, that. it looks. It is very similar to. <laughs> yeah, and you can do it more subtle too, just to. And then we, <laughs> and then we did another one where uh, Joey uh, was teaching a uh, an acting class for soap operas. <laughs> and uh, like, if you have to cry, you cut a hole in your pocket and you take a tweezers and you just start pulling. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, I pinched thing. myself a few times. Yeah. Yeah. The problem yeah. is, I like it. <laughs> You have to be like perplexed. You just uh, think of some long division. <laughs> uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. But that wasn't. I mean, that wasn't like improv, like like these guys do. It wasn't. That was all. I, I can't take any credit for that. It was all the writers. Yeah, but really... you still got it. You still got. Yeah. You still... But I, had, I mean, I had to sell it, but it was. But uh, also. Now that you know those things, like, do you find yourself you ever, when you're actually properly acting, thinking, shit, I just did smell the fart? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> do, you have, do you have tricks, Zach, when you're acting? No, I'm just good. Yeah. <laughs> In interviews, it's talked about how you know that you're very comfortable with your body, and no, I'm not going to ask you. I'm not going to ask you to strip or anything. <laughs> no, but you said. <laughs> this, I'm not. This is coming from them screaming. I'm not. Not. But no, that if it's artistically merited. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So talking sure. of, see, I'm moving on. 
Thank you. Talking of, talking of artistic nudity, um, Seth, you yes. must be aware of this beautiful art book. Oh, no. Book. <laughs> yeah. This is gorgeous. You have the actual book. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, now, because... Did, did, yeah. did you have to give permission for this? No, I, I, I wish I had been asked, honestly, in <laughs> retrospect, but no, I never gave permission. It's an artist called Christopher Schultz, is yes. his name. And he's, he, he's actually like a legitimate artist. He's like, a really he's good artist. artist. I can't show that. <laughs> yeah. um, there aren't many... Ooh, I can't show that. We can see this. So You can't show many of them. No, we really can't. So, what's his name? Christopher Schultz. So he's an, he is an actual artist. I've never met him, yeah, in my <laughs> life. But just so you know, yeah. And I'm guessing you're planning you're I'm, never going to. He draws me quite beautifully, so I kind of am curious. Really? <laughs> so Christopher Schultz shuts his eyes and thinks, how will I see Seth Rogen? Like that. <laughs> so this... <laughs> It's a good mattress. You can see how deep I am in <laughs> Five inches of sinking in that mattress. Yeah, yeah, okay. I love that. Men of a certain age. Is that yeah, memory That's foam? a good mattress, yeah. yeah We're deep right. in that mattress. How do you do that? I think we can show this. This is just like following a big dog down the street. Oh, no. Uh, there's... <laughs> This may not make it to telly. If it no. does, it'll be blurred. But I want to show the audience. Just because of all the things. So, you know, we get it. It's yeah. drawings of, of me naked. with no clothes yeah. on. That's so far so you bonkers. Get that. Yeah, you get what you're getting. What was he thinking? With that one. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird, like, so that, like, I don't know how my own nuts could be over my head, like, like it, it, it creates a... It does make you smile, though. Yeah, it makes you smile. <laughs> you look so cute. I call cute that one the peekaboo. Yeah. <laughs> Just see yeah. past That is beautiful. Uh, do you want that to keep... I have, I I have several copies. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sign that for you. <laughs> Uh, they were away, but now they are back with a number one album, singing their current single, Coming Home. It is Kaiser Chiefs! <laughs>
again. Hello. Oh, oh, it's been so long. It has been so long. Come in, Jack. Okay, that's 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 that
You know, I've got... I like where I was going. Yeah, yeah, that's... I've got two dogs to feed. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't take these sorts of risks. No, you can't do that. <laughs> that one was heading down. That, that, was, going that was going in the wrong road, yeah. direction. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, one, should we try one more? One more. Hello. Hi. Okay, we've high hopes. Uh, what's your name? Shani. <laughs> Where are you from, Shani? I'm from New Zealand. Oh, she's from New Zealand. <laughs> we always do well with New Zealanders. Because even if the story's bad, voice hilarious. You're very funny. <laughs> so, uh, Shani, are you living here or visiting? I live here. You live here? Woo! Smell the visa. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, what do you do? I'm a florist. A florist? You okay with that? Yep. Um, <laughs> and off we go with your story, Sean. Okay, so mine's an embarrassing story about myself. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time I tried at home waxing, I brought some strips that you heat can up. I, can I just stop you right there? Already, <laughs> the New Zealand pronunciation of waxing Wixing. is Wixing. genius. Let's <laughs> say that her name, Shani, rhymes with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. We're here so you're doing your home wixing? Yes. <laughs> uh, I brought some strips that you have to rub together to heat up. Uh, I put them both on at the same time. Okay. And when I ripped the strips off, the <coughs> wax stayed. Uh, so I found myself in a tricky situation. I hopped into the shower and uh, tried products, uh, shampoo, body lotion, soap, and nothing would take it off. I tried a razor blade. <laughs> Oh. Uh, and the wax stayed, so I had to get my mum to ring uh, our nearest beauty salon and she had to take me up there. Uh, the most embarrassing part was that I had to walk with my legs open so that they did stick together. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite a good story. That's pretty that, good. Should, should we let her walk, literally? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you can walk, Charlie. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Very good. Well done, everyone. Our website at this very address. A huge thanks to my guests tonight, Kaiser Chiefs. with our Eurovision hopeful Molly and a couch full of Hollywood heroes, James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender and Hugh Jackman. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.